hey hello guys welcome back to let code today in this video we are going to learn a very important concept in playwright that is browser context so far we have used the new page but before using the new page always i said like we'll talk about the browser context more in detail right so here you can see like we have this browser.new context this particular thing is really awesome in playwright we are going to discuss about that the function and also how we can make use of that in a uh, proper way okay so if you go to our uh, github source code so here you can see like within the master uh, so far we have completed day seven all the codes are there if you want to go day by day you can just go from like day one to day seven only that particular code will be there within that package okay so i'll leave the link in the description you can go and check it out now coming back to the documentation which is very important so here you can see like browser context provides a way to operate multiple independent browser sessions okay so what does it really mean so already we know that whenever we do automation right not only playwright even selenium webdriver io cypress whatever it is it always try to launch the browser in a incognito mode incognito mode in the sense like it's a private browser it does not hold any of the user data um, the cookies cache or uh, chrome extension right so it's like your fresh browse browser so whenever we launch any of the uh, pages it basically opens a new chrome session in playwright of course it's the same it will also try to open in the new sessions but we have features like we can use uh, two different sessions at the same time for example let me give you this code you will get a better idea so of course we launch our browser with the help of like play, playwright.create that will give me the instance of the playwright then what we do from playwright we will say like uh, chromium which is going to return me the browser type okay so here you can say like it's a basically a browser type it can be like chromium firefox or the webkit now from the browser type what we say like to launch okay so launch in the sense like it's going to open the browser and that's going to return me the browser instance again now from the browser i can say like new page that will return me the new browser with a tab right but it is not a good way so basically we have to go with the new context new page internally calls the new context that's different but i will tell you the difference when we should go with the new page directly and when we should go with the new context okay so here you can see like browser.new context is going to give me a context here okay now with the help of this context i am going to create a new page okay so this is how we launch our browser so far right so there is no difference this is what we have learned only this particular thing is new for us now if i want to launch my browser in the headless mode in the head mode then of course i have to say like new browser um, type dot launch option dot launch sorry dot set headless and here i have to give false which is going to return me the launch option so i can name it like headless and i can pass this within my launch method okay so this is so far we are good so only thing we learned now is this browser context i will give you the context why this is required okay so for example let's go and write a test case for this like uh, the login so i'm going to navigate to this particular um, site so let's give like page dot navigate and this is my login site and i'm going to give my username so let's go and inspect this thing so here i can see like we have a form control username as a css i'm just going to use the latex path to save your time okay and within the type of course i have to give my test data which is going to be auto any and similarly i'm going to inspect the password so here we also we have a form control name and here the password is pass one two three dollar i guess let's go and check this one okay yeah it's correct one two three four dollar okay so i'm just going to do this yeah now let's go and click on this login button so here we can see like within the button we have a text called 
login within the span i can copy the uh, xpath here or else i can go with the css like it has a button color called primary okay so i'm going to click that one let's do that okay now once i do the login so here you can see like we have this username called autony that is what we have logged in right now let's go and grab this particular name so here we can see like it has a name called autony so based on the login credential it's going to generate the username so i'm going to use the text content just to uh, print this one okay so here i'll say like user name and then i'm going to do the sysout statement which is going to be my username and here i can say like name something like this okay and lastly i'm going to say like playwright dot close just to close the browser okay now let's go and run this this is very simple so uh, we are just launching our browser with the url and we are going to enter some credential and we are going to do the login okay once the login so here we can say like we got our username but of course with that we got something else as well the reason is here within the span tag you can see like there is also another two tags one is the mat icon and another one is the mat icon and within those we have this one so if i retrieve the text from the span it will give us all the text like here in the mat icon we have this account circle and account uh, arrow drop down also so if you just want to get this particular thing uh, no way to do in the css or the xpath what we can do is we can apply the uh, string function here like i want to split based on the uh, space and this is going to be zero okay so if i go and run this now it will give me only the username not the other data so this is just your string concept with split function okay so here you can see like we got the username alone okay now coming back to the concept of browser context and how it's going to help us okay so in selenium we do not have any way to launch a new browser inbuilt functions in selenium 3 in selenium 4 of course we have like new tab in playwright it is like inbuilt and out of the box if you want to launch a new tab you can do that very easily for example i can use the context here and then i can say like context dot new page which is going to return me another page okay so let me name it like uh, new page okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to navigate to the same particular page and i'm going to print the username okay but here we are going to use this guy called new page not the page okay so here here yeah and i'm going to reassign to the username variable so yeah okay now let's go and run this now let's see what happened watch carefully what it's going to happen it's, it will be very quick let's see so here our first tab first browser first tab it's going to log in and uh, okay it's really fast so i'm just going to comment this playwright close for now let's go and run this one more time okay so here you can see like in this particular browser particular tab we have logged in successfully and the username is autony if i go to the second tab here you can see like we have this autony it's going to the login page because like we have navigated to the login so if i go to the home page here you can see like we have logged in successfully okay just to make sure i'm going to remove the uh, login from the url and i'm going to click on this guy called login so let's go and inspect this one and here we have a span called login which is this one but i want to click on the button so what i'll do is i'll just simply say like slash dot dot which will go to my parent so if i find you can see like we have two buttons two elements actually so one is this one and another one is this one not a good idea i guess if i go to the home page and if i find so then i have only one okay so i'm going to use this xpath and here i'm going to say like page dot click and the xpath okay so that's it pretty cool okay now let's go and run this one more time even though this is not required but still if you don't understand just to make you 
make sure that you understand the concept i'm doing this okay so for example here you can see like once we are when we are in the home page it is already logged in as a autony and here our first tab where we have logged in right so that means like within the same browser if i open multiple tab then of course the same session the same cookie same data is going to carry forward which is real time scenario that is how we do in our normal browser as well okay but here the concept is for example consider that you have a application where you have your admin sites and you have your front end user so for example in my project i use this a lot uh, because we have like back end where we have to create some data once the data is created i have to verify as a front end that is unauthenticated users where they can see the data okay so i need two browsers but i don't need to carry forward my session or the cache so how to do that is very simple in playwright we have to use something like browser dot new context again so if you see here we are saying like context dot new page context in the sense like the uh, browser that we launched earlier from there i can open as many as tab i want like one two three i can open multiple tabs but when i say browser dot new context that means it's going to give me another context for example uh, now i don't want to open this in my new tab i want this to be a separate session so what i will do i will simply say like browser dot new context that's going to give me another context i'll let me name it like context 2 and from context 2 i'm going to create a new page here okay so this will again uh watch carefully so earlier we have said like context dot new page so that will again return me the page and here also new page in the sense of course it's going to return me the page but the, but the difference here is instead of context we are using context 2 so context 2 is what it is like browser dot new context now if i run this let's see what happens sorry if you are getting some background noise the neighbors are outing okay okay so coming back to the topic so here you can see like this is our initial context one that is like context and here you can see like we have this guy called login uh the autony okay then we have another browser without login that means this is your new session where the cache the session is not carry forward so how does this help and here we are getting error because of course the login is not there in the new context hence we are saying like uh, after 30 seconds it's not able to find this particular xpath because it is not logged in which is very understandable i hope you got that so here you can see like previously we use the new page context.new page to open another tab within the same browser but when i say like browser context dot like creating a new context it basically giving us the new page okay so this is how we can make use of the browser context and which is really cool in playwright okay and it will be applicable for the only for the launched browser for example here i'm saying like chromium that means of course the chromium will have multiple things if i say like instead of chromium if i say like firefox then of course the same thing but here two firefox context will be created okay so if you want to carry forward your session cache then probably you can use the context.new page but if you want a new browser with new session and new cache then you should use like browser context okay so i hope you got this idea uh, how we use in the sense like personally in my project as i said earlier the same concept even you can do it for like uh let's say that when we do something related to the email field right so if there we have to do the email verification we'll do in the front end like uh, user sign up will be there and we need another browser where we can just go and do the sign in for the particular gmail or whatever the email you are using and we can get some value and we can pass that to the another page right so we can do that and simultaneously if you want you can work as well for example uh if i say like here i have launched like browser dot new context and i'm focusing on the new browser context but let's say that i want to log out from the um 
first context so again here we have the page object right which is from your new um, from the previous context so again i can use like uh, page dot do something like that for example let's say that we want to uh, type here okay so let's go and inspect this one so here we have type like search and send keys and and some data let's say that we want to search for hp okay so if you want to do this of course you can do this okay so here um, i think okay so there is also another function called bring to front that means okay let me show you this one okay so i have two contexts but still i can communicate with both the contexts at the same time at the same time in the sense like of course it's line by line the typical java way so uh here it's going to throw me error the program will stop uh, sorry my bad i'm just going to stop this and comment these two lines okay because login is not there so of course that particular element is not there it will throw us error okay so here you can select uh, this is another context and here it's basically doing the type but still uh, since this is in the front view we are not able to see what it's going here so if you want to bring this in front view then of course you can use this guy called bring to front which will just uh, visually it will show us like it is in the front but you can ignore that if you are running in headless mode that doesn't make any sense to use okay so here you can see like now this guy in the front and we can see like it typed some data okay so that's it this that's it very very pretty cool now you might also have one more doubt is like when to use the close okay so when i say playwright dot close that means it's like your new selenium driver dot quit will it will quit all the active sessions and if you want to close particular page you can use like page dot close for example here i can say like page dot um close and also if you want to close a particular context here you can say like here you can say like uh, context to dot close so that will be close so you can close based on the context based on the page or you can close based on the playwright or the browser okay so use appropriately appropriately like wherever you want to use it okay so i'll just add a comment maybe you can refer for your learning okay so that's it i hope you have understood to be simple if you want to create new page within the same browser you can use the new page function from the context if you want a different uh chromium or firefox or webkit browser with a different session then you should use like browser.new context and from the context you use the new page okay so that's it i hope i have make it very clear if you have still doubt feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Very soon. Tada! Bye bye. Take care.